the rest of the world and the MLS team of the season are expected to be the next team of the seasons coming out after the Pro League and the Super League. And today I'm going to be doing my predictions. Now, as you know, these are the current teams in packs, the Super League with some really good cards in and also the Pro League with some very overpowered cards in as well. Now, last year we did get the rest of the world team of the season looking a bit like this. And some of these players could be included yet again this FIFA and then the MLS team of the season last year looked like this. And some of these guys have left the league. Unfortunately, Nani is now in the Serie A, so he can't get in. And his card was absolutely insane last year. Getting into my rest of the world predictions, the first player I've predicted is Tavernier, who got one last year. And I think this year he's been immense for Rangers, which is why I think he'll get in again. He'll be higher rated, in my opinion. If he gets a 93 rated card looking like this, he's going to be absolutely incredible. I really hope Sassinia gets in again like last year. He is now 5-star, five 5-star five this FIFA. I don't think he was last FIFA, but now he is, which makes him so much better. Brazilian links as well. Of course, club links, league links aren't good, but the Brazilian links, 5-star, five 5-star, five will make him incredibly expensive. Orsic always seems to get a team of the season card with very good shooting. And I think again this year he could. He'll probably be a decent super sub because he's not really linkable at all. And if they don't improve his skill moves and weak foot, no one's really going to use him as their starter. Kardec has been very good in the CSL this year, which is why I think he deserves the team of the season. This card wouldn't be that great. Good physical and shooting, but I think he'd be a little low on the pace side for this stage of the game. Healy has been very good for Toulouse in the French League too, and I think he could be included in the rest of the world team of the season. That would be a definitely deserved card. Next, Goodwin has been very good in the Australian League. He's got a few informs this FIFA, which is why I think he deserves a team of the season card. Nearly maxed out pace would make him a cool super sub. Vieira has been one of the best players in the second division of the La Liga. And I think he should be getting a team of the season card. The dribbling and pace on this card would be very good, but it would be a bit of an average card. Evander got a team of the season card last year and he could be getting in again. I think he's been very good in his league. I looked at some of his stats and he's been very good. Amir's Fort, I think that's how you say his name, has been very good in his league for his club. I looked at some of his stats online and he's been very solid. His physical stats would be pretty good. If he had 80 plus defending, this could be looking like a Hurligan card. Kamara has been very good for Red Bull Salzburg and I think this would be a cool link with Adeyemi's team of the season. This card, if he gets in, I think he'd have very high pace because he already has extremely high pace on his low rated special cards. And I put Manos in again because I couldn't think of another keeper to get in here. And I think he's been good for Shamrock Rovers, but honestly, I don't really know. Getting into the MLS predictions, I've picked Carl Gill as the main player for this team of the season. Now, his stats are very impressive in the MLS, and I think this card will be a very good one. The pace won't be the highest for a high-rated team of the season, but his passing and dribbling will be very high. Mukhtar has a 5-star weak foot, which makes him extremely usable. And imagine a team of the season card with these stats and the 5-star weak foot. Links to the Bundesliga, of course, with the German flag would make him quite popular in this game. Javier Hernandez has a lot of nostalgia attached to him, but he's been very good for LA Galaxy this season, which is why I think he could be getting in the team of the season. Good shooting and dribbling will be on this card. He'll also get the green link to Carlos Vea's team of the season card. Ferreira has been very, very good in the MLS. He's been one of the best players in the league, I think. He'll have nearly maxed out pace, in my opinion. He could be a pretty decent card. His passing would be a little low, though, so I don't think many people are going to be using him. Wagner's storyline card was very solid. I used him for a bit, and I think a team of the season version would be very good. Nearly maxed out pace and very good physical and dribbling stats on him would make him a solid left back. Morales wouldn't be that good at this stage of the game because of the lack of pace again. He is a cam which makes him usable, but I think there's so many better options out there. If Blanco was to get in, I think he'd be very slept on. Five-star weak foot on this card as well. With 93 shooting and 92 passing, this could be an insanely underrated card. Robinson would definitely be one of the most hyped up players in the MLS team in the season because he's a centre-back and he'd have a lot of pace. He already has really high pace on all his other cards and this 94 pace center back would be quite pricey i think if there was players to green link to him in this team of the season joao paulo would be an all right card it wouldn't be the greatest card good passing i think 
but I don't think many people will use him unless they need him for objectives. Same with Zimmerman, he does look pretty decent, but there's so many centre-backs better than this with much better links. He does actually green link to Mukhtar, which could be getting him used a bit more, but I still don't think he'll be used that much. And Slonina has been a very good keeper in the MLS this season. He's been one of the best young keepers in the world, I think that's what I've heard people say. I, haven't, I don't watch the MLS, but I think he's been very good. Those are the end of my predictions. I hope you guys enjoy. Make sure to hit the like and subscribe if you're new. Check out my latest player review video down in the description. But it's been Footmaster and I'm out. Peace.